Guys, Red Demon 652 here again today. Got my Browning Buckmark back out. I got some uh, different ammos to try. We're going to run them over a Conograph and uh, check the velocities according to what the manufacturer says they are. And I can tell you right now, in shorter barrels like pistols, they do not run to the manufacturer specs. So, uh, we're going to check them for how much velocity can we get out of a seven and a quarter inch barrel in a Browning Buckmark. And the functionality, I have some hyper velocity, standard velocity, and uh, regular velocity. So, uh, my glasses are trying to fog up. Let's uh, see if we can unfog them right quick and uh, get this started. First, I'm going to try some uh, Aquila Super Extra. Uh, I think the advertised velocity on that is about 1260 feet per second. It's a 40 grain round nose that is copper plated. Looks like this. And uh, we'll put it over the conograph. See if we can hit that big plate down, uh, down range there. The big square one. As we're shooting over the top of the conograph. That way we don't waste a shot for uh, just conograph. We'll uh, practice. <clears throat> and see how they do. Uh, in one of my last videos, something I hadn't talked about yet. This Browning Buckmark. I want to talk about the trigger for a minute. Uh... As far as it being a competition pistol trigger, no. No, it's definitely not that. But it's got just a little bit of creep in it. <clears throat> it does break good once you hit the, uh, the breaking spot. It breaks clean. Nothing wrong with there. Uh, I know there's some upgrades out there on the market. But I haven't really found any upgrades to, you know, lessen the, the trigger pull. But I have found some upgrades that you can take up the, uh, the, the, the over-travel. I'm not so worried about the over-travel. It's more the, the break and the poundage that I worry about more. However, uh, with some uh, Aquila Super Extra... Let's get started and see what our velocities run with the Aquila Super Extra and the functionality of the pistol. <coughs> so about Somewhere around 1070, 1080 feet per second. That's not bad. Uh, let's scoot back over here. And uh, I'm going to shoot the rest of these rounds at some of these targets I've got down here. And uh, check for functionality and uh, just practice. And we're out of ammo. Well, I hit my targets pretty good. I didn't, uh, I missed a couple times. It wasn't bad. It's good for me. I like it. <clears throat> Next uh, ammo we'll go to is some uh, Aquila Super Maximum Hyper Velocity. I believe this is somewhere around 1,600 feet per second from what I've read on the internet. It's not necessarily advertised on the box anywhere. Uh, it's a 30 grain, let's see, it's a 30 grain, I, I believe in this if I remember right, it's a, it's a round nose. Yeah, it's a, well, kind of a flat point, really, when you compare it to others and look at it. Kind of a short bullet, uh, kind of comparable to the CCI Stinger. Uh, let's load up 10 of them, check their velocity, uh, check for uh, functionality in the gun. And uh, 
see how they do. And most important of all, see if I can hit anything with them. That's the part where everybody says, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I wasn't looking at the velocities. 1,500 feet per second on that last one. I'm sure we got them on camera. But uh, that's, not, uh, that's not very far from the advertisement of what the manufacturer specs are. Well, let's move back over here, away from the chronograph, and let's see if we can hit anything now. There it is. Well, there was definitely a large point of impact shift from that ammo to from the to the last. That hyper velocity really changed the point of impact because I shot all around that little little round target. I couldn't find it. All right, next up, let's try some of this Browning BPR. Browning Performance Rimfire. It is rated at 1,435 feet per second. It is a, a hollow point round. Looks like this. Keep those nice and neat. You got a, a nice little hollow point in there. Uh, from one shell to the next, you know, there's not a whole lot of consistency in that hollow point necessarily, but uh, they don't look too bad. Definitely kill a squirrel. Let's load them up and see just exactly how they perform. Now, the last two shells performed good. The gun cycled. We didn't have any jams. Uh, accuracy uh, and point of impact suffered going from the super extra to the hyper velocity which wasn't necessarily any fun I thought but well let's try this one Eleven eighty four, twelve forty. So approximately 200, 200 feet per second slower than the advertised velocity. Okay, let's step over here and see if I can hit any targets. Well, I can't hit anything with these either. And we're out of ammo. All right. Now next on the agenda, next on the playing field here is some Norma USA TAC 22. Advertised velocity that I've seen on the internet, it's not on the box, is 1,200 feet per second. Uh, I believe this ammo is made over in Germany. It has an RWS head stamp on it. So why it says USA TAC, I, you know, normally USA, I don't know. It's imported. That's all I can tell you. Just a little regular lead round nose, 40 grain. Stick these in the gun and see how we do. Mm. 
976. 946. And 958. Wow, those are really consistent. Let's try one more. Just. And 939. Wow, that's really consistent ammo. I'll bet this stuff is pretty accurate. Let's move back over here and see if I can hit anything else with it. I was hitting that big, big square gong target down there. Let's try the little round guy up close here. All right, let's go to the squares over to the left. Got him. Missed him. Got him. Got him. Oh. I think I shot under that last one. We're out of that ammo. That was pretty good. I, I think that's a good ammo in my pistol right there. Oh, Nick, let's try the CCI standard velocity. <clears throat> the advertised velocity is 1070 feet per second. It's a 40 grain round nose. Uh, very common round. I'm sure you've seen this round before many times if you're watching this video. Uh, a lot of guys say that uh, they're some of the most ra accurate rounds they've ever shot, which that's probably true in a lot of cases. It's not my necessarily my most accurate ammo that I use for any competition shooting in my other rim fires. Uh, I don't have any set ammo at the moment that I'm using in my Browning Buckmark. Just, uh, you know, it's still fresh, new to the family. Trying to get a feel for it, trying different ammos. But that's the fun part of all this. You know, that's why we buy new guns, so we can go through these things that we're doing right now. Otherwise, <laughs> what else would you do with it? All right, let's check the velocity on that. Nine sixty, nine seventy nine, and nine seventy six. That's pretty consistent ammo right there. I like that. That should give you pretty consistent groups. Let's go down here and uh, let's move over and try to uh, hit some targets again. And go over here to the left of the square one. Maybe I need to slow down and take a little more time. I don't know. I'm not a professional pistol shooter. All right, next we're going to try some of this Federal Premium High Velocity Match. Um, the advertised velocity on that is 1,200 feet per second. Um, it's a lead 40 grain round nose. We'll probably cycle the gun pretty good, I'm sure. We're going to check for that. See how she does. Uh, I've been shooting quite a bit of that high velocity match in this pistol since I got it a week ago. And uh, I can tell you right now, there's no problem with functionality. However, I haven't checked the velocity to see... In a seven and a quarter inch barrel, how close we're getting to <coughs> the specs of the shell. Well, let's try it. Let's try it over the conograph here and see what we got. 1120. 1147. Wow, I think that's about the closest one so far to actually reaching the, what the, the manufacturer says the velocity is. Uh, we had anywhere from 1140 to 1180, and that's 1200 feet per second. Let's move back over here and see if we can hit some targets. Go for the little round one up close here. bullets. Well, we had a few good hits there. 
and uh let's see last yeah we've shot pretty well everything else we're gonna try the good old cci mini mag round nose 40 grain advertised velocity of 1235 feet per second america's favorite ammo right here folks uh cci sells more of that than any other maker uh sells any of their ammo i do believe except maybe some of the really really cheap stuff but when you want quality this is this is where it's at. This is where it comes from. They got the nice 40 grain round nose lead copper uh, plated bullet. You can see the quality in those bullets compared to some of the others that I just showed you. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen yet with the velocity, but uh, let's get it loaded up and uh, check it out. While I'm loading this, talking about that browning buck mark, you know, I just think that is such a beautiful pistol with the Coca Bola red grips and the browning buck mark logo. I still miss some kind of some of the old fashioned when they used to polish and blue them. I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of all the coating they put on new guns these days. But, uh, it's just kind of the way it goes. Well, let's check the velocity on the CCI. Ten ninety six, eleven oh one. And 1093 so we're running about 1100 feet per second from a I believe it was a 1235 yep 1235 velocity spec all right let's shoot some of these small targets here we're gonna start with the round one on the right got him let's go over to the left got him got him oh we're gonna miss Got him that time. Let's go back to the little round one on the right there. And we missed him. Oh, we missed our last shot. Doggone it. Okay, guys. That was my review of uh, uh, some different ammos that I've got uh, in my Browning Buckmark. Uh, test for functionality, their velocities. I tell you, I really like that uh, Norma USA TAC. It shot pretty good. The CCI Mini Mag shot pretty decent. And uh, thanks, guys. I'll catch you next time.